Right, um, we're back. We found a part. Um, the spins, but we hope it's going to work. Right, first thing to do is uh, put some chops to stop the wheels going backwards. Jacking point. Okay. And then we go up. We've got to do this both sides. Go a little bit that way. This is a two ton jack, so should have no problem. Right, got the jack. We want to go higher than that, so we're going to try the second one. Put the pin in, and then we'll use that to measure it. We managed to get to the jacking point, and we put it on the second level. Unfortunately, um, well, we've got the screwdriver in there because this pin was too big. It was just ever so slightly too large for us to get it aligned with this wonderful two-ton jack. It was on its limit and uh, it would lose pressure. Right, as before, we had to take out the air filter and the box underneath. And then, you see these nuts? There's one here that we just need to loosen them because it hooks on the radiator, the fan. The whole assembly hooks on, so you just need to uh, uh, loosen once you can find the spanner, find the spanner to fit. Right, we need to take this. Uh, looks a bit like a, some sort of air air intake. It's in the way. We've got to lift the fan. I can undo that. And do that, and these just lift up, and then that can come out the back. And that's out the way. So basically, you've got to loosen these nuts, you don't have to take them off. The good old Bonio, best socket I could find. I've got a new one on order actually. It's a bit worn out now. It's a windy day. But the car is stable, it's up on its uh, axle stands. Right, we're having a bit of trouble because we can't get the fan out. <laughs> so, uh, Sun's had the idea to remove the motor, which is a brilliant idea. So just take, we've already loosened the screw there. And we've got another one here. Yeah, coming undone now. So that's that. Just one more to do at the bottom. Yeah. There's a plug here. This plugs in there. Okay, so we've got to unplug that. And I think these are in the way. So we'll undo these. We've got to take these brackets because they're stopping the the radiator dropping. So if we undo these, it's just these pipes probably for braking or something. We got the fan out, dropping it underneath, but we had to cut it, cut it to get it out. We can't do that with a new one. So plan B, as was suggested earlier, perhaps take the battery out and let's see if we can get in from the top. Yeah, we, uh, we're taking the battery out. There's a bracket. You need a, uh, I'll tell you at the end of it, with the millimetre spanner, because it's right down on the side of the battery to undo it. So these are easier to take off, but this nut that holds the bracket, that holds the strap on. So you need a 60 millimetre socket, um, sorry, the other way around, to fit that nut. Okay. So where did we get to? Well, <laughs> we uh, took out the battery and um, that didn't help. Uh, we still couldn't get the uh, radiator fan assembly into the, uh, well, to the, to the back of the radiator. It was still impossible. Uh, so with the car jacked up both sides, no different. The only way we got this one out was, as I said in the video, we had to cut a piece out uh, which isn't ideal for the new one. Uh, incidentally, the new one, um, 
you spot the difference. Uh, six blades, four blades. Um, also the plug is different. And why? Uh, this was the only one available and it's for a car with air conditioning. We haven't got air conditioning, so uh, we're gonna have to, even if we fitted it, we're gonna have to do something about the plug. So probably have to uh, um, make connections. Um, either a little pin underneath, so I, I should be able to do that without a problem. And then hardwire it to the, uh, uh, the plug, the existing plug the forward plug so <laughs> that's another problem <clears throat> so cut a long story short i think the only solution is to get that guy in <laughs> and maybe maybe there's a trick maybe you you lower the engine or no uh, you tilt the engine perhaps that that is the same as with the alternator problem or there's another trick or Worst case scenario, you've got to uh, uh, take out the radiator, which is another another job, which is, again, um, in the manual, it looks easy, but I'm not going to take that risk. <laughs> I've had enough. Uh, I think we give this over to the professional and see what he, he can do with it. So, um, yeah, if uh, you, you want to have hair like mine and... Um, have a hair raising time trying to fit this um, part into the car then uh, have a go but um, I'll let you know on the next video uh, if there's any um, easier way or if there is a, a trick to do this um, we'll see so um, stand by or stay tuned for the next one uh, which I'll put up in the new year uh, when the car's been fixed okay have a great Christmas bye